In this video, we'll look at whether magnesium carbonate, that's MgCO3, is ionic or covalent. The short answer is that it's an ionic compound, but we have covalent bonds within the carbonate ion here. So when we look at the periodic table, we can see that magnesium is right here, and that's a metal. So we have a metal for magnesium, carbon and oxygen are both nonmetals. So when we have a metal and a nonmetal, or metal and nonmetals, that is an ionic compound. So overall, this is an ionic compound. Because of that, we should think about charge. So magnesium right here is in group two. It has a two plus ionic charge. And then this whole carbonate ion, CO3, this is a polyatomic ion, and the carbon is bound pretty tightly to these three oxygens, and this stays together. This whole ion has a two minus ionic charge. This is a good one to memorize. So we have our positive magnesium ion, then our negative carbonate, they're attracted. Those two ions are attracted. That forms the ionic bond. Let's talk briefly, though, about the carbonate ion here. So for the carbonate ion, remember that carbon was a nonmetal, and that oxygen, that was also a nonmetal. So we have the carbon and the oxygens, all nonmetals. That means that the bonds between the carbon and the oxygen atoms, that's going to be covalent. We also call that molecular. So overall, we have our positive magnesium and then our carbonate, which is negative. That's ionic. But within the carbonate ion, the CO3, 2 minus, within that carbonate ion, we have covalent bonds. This is Dr. B with answering the question whether MgCO3 is ionic or covalent. Thanks for watching.